today I will be giving you a basic introduction to FigJam which is a collaboration tool used for brainstorming and creative sessions. So it's basically an infinite whiteboard in which you can jam with the rest of your team in real time. So you can have post-its, draw shapes, uh, write, you can vote, you can make a lot of really cool stuff with the rest of your team. You access FigJam through Figma so they're really synced up so your FigJam files can be part of the same workspace as your Figma files. Okay guys, so to get started you're gonna be in the home page of Figma and instead of clicking in new design file you're gonna click on FigJam board. When you create a new FigJam file it's gonna suggest you using some templates and you can see you can use several things such as brainstorm, agenda, flowchart, bug bash, design create, user journeys and retrospective and a lot more uh, templates. Um, one important thing you gotta keep in mind is FigJam is like an infinite whiteboard so if you pick one of these um, one of these templates like if I pick uh, brainstorm it's not gonna it's not gonna limit uh, it's not gonna limit the board to a brainstorm you can pick that template and get, then you can go in here in the top left menu click templates and you can simply um, add another one to that same to the same working file so you can have as much as much templates as you want in one single whiteboard okay but for the sake of this video i'm gonna start with a blank page so let's start reviewing everything that figjam offers so if you open the top left menu you're gonna see you will have a timer in here you can change that time and set limits for activities or brainstormings or, or any uh, group session you're having uh, you can also add a minute stop pause you can also play ambient music so you can pick one of these cool tracks figma offers so you can lower or increase or increase your volume and you can also vote if a designer is presenting a solution you can start a new vote and have your team uh, pick one of the alternatives okay after that we have again the templates menu let me give you like a more in-depth look of that you can search by a huge variety of templates in here uh, they're created by users by figjam by figma like they're they're sourced from the community and you can see like anything you can imagine you will find in here and they're also organized by categories so you can uh, check like the get started category the recommended uh, if you're having a meeting if you're having a planning session or a brainstorming session you're gonna see like uh, the most the most relevant templates for each of those cases you also have the comment section it basically works the same as figma FigJam provides a set of tools specifically designed for ideation and brainstorming so different from Figma which you can customize every single detail of what you're creating this is more focused on a really quick and efficient idea generation so you're gonna see you have a really basic tool set but it's really optimized for that so you have a marker to draw freely a highlighter you have some tape which you can change the design of uh, you have the eraser which basically you click with it and it deletes everything you can change the size of those elements so if I pick the marker and I pick the thick dot I'm gonna be able to write much uh, which are with a much thicker stroke you can also obviously change the colors of stuff and if you want to really stay on brand you can pick a hex code to use the exact color you want but again the focus of, of FigJam is having creative sessions really quick and efficient brainstorming uh, so it's not really uh, intended to be like as as customizable as, and detailed as Figma is okay next up we have the shape element you're gonna see we have some of the shapes we have on Figma and some extra ones which are commonly used on uh, which are commonly used on this type of sessions so you can create uh, squares ellipses diamonds triangles and all sort of shapes uh, to do that select one of those you can write on it if you don't want uh, a fill you can change it to transparent or no fill so it will leave only the stroke you can also edit the stroke if it's a solid or a dashed one you can change the font family and you can change the size of the fonts 
and you can also make some text decorations on them align the text make it have bullet points okay if you have more than one shape you can connect those with the dots that appear next to the shapes and you're gonna see if i move this shape it's gonna stay connected so that's really valuable when you're creating complex flows which you have to constantly resize and add new information to you can also write individual text you can actually change the pixel value of the of the size of the shapes but i really recommend just sticking with the preset sizes because that's gonna save you so much time and the hierarchy is clear enough for you to establish which elements are more important than the others so yeah i mean it works pretty good so i really recommend you you simply use the the preset sizes Apart from the selector your ISO, which is an arrow that curves and finds it, its way from one element to another, you, you can also pick a straight arrow. This one will also stay connected, but it's not gonna curve in the same way the, the connector does. Okay, and next we have the stamps, which is basically more of a communication device. You can use this for voting or for expressing that you like some particular design. If you have a profile picture set, in this case I don't, it's just my, the first letter of my name, but if you have a picture, it's going to show up in here and you can also put a stamp with your picture in there just to indicate that it's a comment from you, for example. Um, you can also use the emojis, but these are more of an ephemeral thing. So if someone is showing something in that moment and you really like it, you can just send emojis, but this will go away. Okay, and next we got the sticky note. You can use this basically the same way as you do in, uh, in a real life session. So you can paste them around and add some ideas. Uh, it's gonna show up with your name on it, but if you if you click on the quill icon, it's gonna hide your name, but you can basically pick a color and the, I think the most effective way to do it is assign a color for each team member and then you just use the same post-it colors for all of your comments. Also, if you keep typing, you're gonna see the post-it start growing. It will basically adapt to the content of it and you can also manually resize it if you prefer. Okay, next up we have the section. With this you can basically group a whole bunch of elements if they are related in some ways. You can have them grouped by relevance or a section of a session that was made on Monday and then you can have another section for the Tuesday session and so on. You can change its color, you can change its, its name and you can make it visible or not visible. You can also insert tables, you can add rows, you can add columns. Okay, so let's move to the stickers, widgets and plugins. Uh, so basically the stickers are another communication device. You're gonna see it's mostly a visual thing. You can insert some really cool um, stickers and you can actually access um, stickers libraries. Just if you wanna add like some extra nice touch to your sessions the widgets are some specific really cool tools you can use inside of figjam so you can um, access them through the same menu but in the widgets tab you're gonna find some really useful stuff in here like pie charts priority matrix bar charts And a lot more elements that you don't have to build from scratch so yeah it would simply makes your work process and your creative sessions much smoother and quicker Okay, and then we got the plugins. If for this part, I really encourage you to search the library because there's a lot of plugins. Some of them are really useful, but but that will be depend on you and your necessities. Um, I'm gonna show you so a couple of really cool ones. So for example, Iconify, which also which is also available on Figma. You can search for any icon, and you you're gonna have access to a huge library of icons. We also have on Splash, which is a huge library of very beautiful pictures you just have to drag and drop 
and lastly i'm gonna show you user profile for when you're creating something like a user persona you just gotta open this plugin up you pick the gender so if you want a female or a male you pick the, the motion the hair color the age and then you just gotta draw a shape and when that shape when you have that shape selected you will be able to insert a random picture and that's it a really quick and easy way to find pictures for users you can also find things like grammar checking checklists you can basically add tasks for a session and you so you can create like an agenda in here and you can you can start checking items from it okay guys so that's it as you can see FigJam is a really powerful tool it really simplifies and streamlines the process of brainstorming mapping and collaborating it's really a powerful tool to work with a team um, if you already know Figma which you probably do if you're using FigJam it will be like really intuitive you will already know how to move around and it will create uh, a, a very central place with the rest of your workflow you can also sync figma libraries in here it's a really seamless bridge between this whiteboard tool and the actual figma files so yeah figjam really provides a versatile platform to enhance your creativity and collaboration it really simplifies uh, these creative sessions and helps you facilitate them so make sure to give it a try and you see it can unleash your team's potential for really innovative ideas and efficient workflows.